hello, hello, hello everybody, Pratzel Road here, and welcome back to another City Skylines video. The latest Sunset Harbor update brought to the game a number of features, which seem to range from kind of redundant to actually somewhat interesting. We've already discussed the ups and downs of the trolley bus, but there's another public transit feature of the update uh, that also takes the form of a bus. That's right, today we're looking at the Intercity bus, which I have to say is actually a pretty great feature. So without further ado, let's get into five reasons why I think that. The first reason is probably the first reason you'll come across. That's because it's the first transit into your city you'll come across. You'll unlock it at the Big Town Milestone, which makes it a simple way to grow your city early on. At that point, it's really the only way of getting large quantities of people into your city, a reason for which I think it's worthwhile alone. Now, if that's not good enough for you, it may be because your city's still operating on a tight budget. Fortunately, though, the second reason I think it's so great is that it's really, really inexpensive. It only costs $38,000 to build a station, so you really have no excuse not to build one. Sure, something like, say, a fire station or a school might be cheaper, but come on, for a way to easily bring in taxable tourists and residents, just build it. Alright, so you've got a plot of land, set it for it, but then you discover a problem. You have a bus stop there that's getting kind of busy and you don't want to add intercity buses into the problem. Fret not though, because the third reason you should definitely use the intercity bus is that its stations will also accept bus lines. That means you actually can reduce the traffic in that area. It's like a bus station that will also bring in tourists and new residents. Okay, so that's great enough, but there must be a catch, right? Like, I have to build something extra for them to work or something, right? Well, actually no, the only infrastructure you'll need is a station. So stupidly simple. What are you waiting for then? A fifth reason? Alright then, you say, but I have a fairly large city now. I can use trains and stuff. I'll just build tunnels for them. I have plenty of money. Why should I bother with buses? Well, consider this. Unless you use the large and expensive multi-platform train station, you can only have one to two trains going into your station at a time. That means the interest of all of the residents of one to two cities, and those trains are likely nowhere near full anyways. However, what the intercity bus lacks in capacity, it makes up for in quantity. You can have seven buses in this station, just a small one, at a time. That's a lot more interest to draw from, so you could end up with tourists from all over the place. Still not convinced? Well, I guess I've got nothing for you. I guess you probably just can't be convinced. If you did find my arguments compelling, though, please leave this video a like. It really helps out my channel. You could even share it with other people who may be interested. Comment down below with your opinion on the Intercity bus. Also, consider checking out this playlist of videos I think you may enjoy. Subscribe to see more videos like this daily, and until next time, have a nice day. Bye!